Now we're coming up to the ponds area. Now folks, this has already got a liner in it, correct? Yep, it's got a liner in it. We know it holds water. Uh, we were witness to that last year. Uh, so we've got a rubber liner in here that's still good. We don't know how deep the liner is right now. That's something that we're going to have to work on and figure out and stuff. But, uh, um, we'll be publishing. This area also has already been approved by the county. And so we'll be posting <coughs> the designs. Uh, for this area online also, so uh, everybody can see it. But uh, a lot of fun things in here. Um, I think we're going to have some folks get wet <laughs> in this area. Well, how about you okay. explain how, how it's going to work here? So uh, if, you, if we come over this way. <coughs> uh, so if I look at the pond from this area, we've got the trail that comes down and then we're going to have a sign over in this area that you'll be able to stand behind with your horse and see a map of the pond. And when you see the map of the pond then you're going to see beginning, intermediate, and advanced <coughs> level pond obstacles uh, that are uh, called out on the map. So as we're looking at the pond there's going to be easy steps where you just walk through the pond. Easy pond crossing. We're going to have one off to the right here that is um, river rock entrance and exit. So you got to walk through rocks to get into the pond and out on the other side. Um, you can see that log on the other side. Well, Rob's going to put that log halfway in and halfway out of the water. So you have a log obstacle to walk over out of the water and then a log obstacle to walk over in the water. Um, where Emily's standing, then we're going to put a <coughs> big rock right in the middle of the pond. And the idea is that you've got to walk into the middle of the pond, dismount your horse onto the rock, and then remount your horse. So, and Emily just went up and down our step off into the pond. So when she just came up, she could do the other way down into the water, and that's a step down into the water. So. Um, off to the right over here, Rob, if you were to focus in on over towards this log over here, it's nice that it's dry, we can just walk over here. Sort of dry. In this area here, we'll have our splash post. So what it is, is it's a post that's mounted and it's got a weight on it. And you ride up on your horse and you take the weight off and you drop it in the water next to your horse and simulate dropping something off of your horse uh, when you were uh, riding through a stream or something. So that would all be some, probably have some interesting uh, results sometimes too. And that's a simulation that's really good because uh, I've seen a lot of horses uh, through, uh, through rides where they've done that. They've acted, they've overreacted because of something in the water. Gotcha. And so it's a great learning tool. We're going to put just a fencing up along here that you will ride up to the water and just be able to look out and watch and stuff. And so not really anything to go into the pond. Fencing there and then this one right here. Rob's leaning against well we're gonna build off the dirt behind this to where it's an even walk up to here and then we're building stone steps that come down into the water. So It'll narrow up up top, it'll be built up above to the top of this log, we'll leave this log in place, and then we'll use this as stone steps down into the water. And so you'll have stone steps to come down into. You know when you get to the cross section, people want to step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe. For me. For me. And there's entry points where if you want to, like here, you can come down in the water too. There's no restrictions. Absolutely. And I, you talked about the rocks, the river rock yep. is going to be right over here where I'm pointing. And what that's going to do is that's going to simulate going across the river bottoms and, and creeks. And it's very, it's going to be perfect for the, the same simulation. And then what's going to happen is it's going to be right over on this other side, it'll be another one.
Okay, and then over here, why don't we go over this side oh, here yeah, and you can kind of one. illustrate what's going on here. I forgot about this part. So, what this one is, is uh, this is our, what we'll do is we'll have a, a timber that's laid in the ground here. And what you'll do is you'll ride up on your horse, you'll dismount, and your horse will be in the water. And you lead your horse along here through the water. And then on this side, you'll remount. Right, now obviously you've got a, a white obstacle, which will, will add to the excitement. This is the drain for us, yep. but that'll add to the excitement. Now, they could do this in reverse, right? Oh, absolutely. Because it'll give you a chance to uh, unmount on the opposite side, oh, which yep. is very important. Absolutely. I know that we always mount on the left side, we got it. But the point is, there's times when you're on the trails that you cannot do it on the left side because of cliffs or edges. So this is a great way to practice dismounting and mounting on the other side of the horse. If you're uh, not showing and you only mount on one side of your horse, you need to get on the other, get on the other side. Yep. So. Now and then, so and then, uh, and like we talked about, this is the beginners right here where you just go through the water here. So all you do is go through the water. Yep, yep. So it's a real nice entrance and exit. We can see that the, you know, our water level, uh, you know, we get water up this high in this area uh, pretty easily, you know, and it comes all the way out to here. You know, we see that in the summer. Um, for sure that we get water all the way up here. And, uh, so we get a good water level in this whole thing. But uh, um, so we'll have to budget in to fill water now. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll have to budget that in and get it filled. Okay. And again, then you briefly show us this again. This so this I'm, is where Emily walked up. So this is just a step up out of the water. So you could walk in from through the rocks. You could walk in on the easy part and just walk over here, and it's a step up out of the water many times when we cross rivers you get to the other side and it's not a nice little smooth exit out of that river you got to step off rocks or the bank is eroded away and you got to step up out of that or the same thing coming in many times that bank is eroded away it's not always nice and smooth so your horse has got to get comfortable stepping off something down into the water and so that's what this is for how, how much water is in that creek then all the time uh, it varies. We'll, we'll see how much is in there right now. No, uh, no it's like a trail with uh, cars. And there's a windmill there. Oh. That she said freaked a lot of horses out because they wouldn't go up to it. They called it a windmill action. No, they wouldn't go. Well, it would be a possibility of putting the wind, getting some old windmill from out in the country someplace. It would actually pump the water out of the creek up into here. So the problem is, is we can't take water out of the creek. Oh, you can't? Okay. No, because of water laws and stuff that uh, they won't allow us to have water out of the creek. So it's not a matter of we can't get it here. We just can't have it. Okay. That's what yeah, I'm about there. But I do like your idea, though, maybe of possibly putting a window they had there. Because they had a uh, trough there. Yeah, well, sure. well, you know, he's got he's got a valid point here, and you might want to bring this up to the county. Uh -huh. Up at Homestead, they have an active, on their property, they act, have an active windmill uh -huh. that pumps water. Something that we could possibly bring up, but this is a valuable point here, and I think he's right about this. Even if we can't pump water, you'll go out on BLM land, National Forest land, because they lease it out for cattle, that there are windmills out there. That's something that we'll consider too. That's a sure. very good idea, Ralph. I think so. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, That's see bringing a windmill out there. Be a place for water and a horse as well. Yeah, but even if we can't pump the water, I think maybe we can create that. I think yeah. Holmes said they had the, 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 the water was going was pumped into the the cement uh, trough, uh -huh. a big trough, a big huge trough, yeah. and then you can actually hear you have the, actually maybe had the over run. Here. Well, and, and he's got he's got another point too, is that we see troughs, and so we could do we could actually put water in if we had to. When we fill this up, we fill that up. Sure. So we use a big a big cattle trough. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. and then do that and have a windmill. And it we and we don't even have to have it pumping. We could at least have it there so that they they can drink out of it and see. Yeah. Folks, this is what is this is about. This area? Is there, is there water lines or anything on this area? Not that I know. 
Now, folks, this is what this is about today. We're going to have another one on Sunday. This is trying to get people to get involved, to get their ideas. If you have an idea, then this is the wonderful thing. Ralph just came up with an idea that we didn't even think about. And that's why we're trying to get everybody involved. This is your park. What if you could rig this thing up where it just pumps the water continuously out of your pond right back into it? That would, that would cause evaporation. I don't think that would be necessary. Yeah, why, why would we pump it from itself back into itself? Just so you have running water or something. Oh, something to moves. simulate to flowing water. With running water someplace. Right. But see, and the thing I like about ideas like that is, is that we want the park to always evolve. So maybe we do start with a pond and we fill it up. And then we're like, hey, let's add a running water feature. And let's add that. And then all we do is go back to the county and say, hey, here's how we want the park to evolve, and, and yeah, do that. Yeah, I've looked a lot into solar stuff like that, and you get big ones. Solar pumps do that. Yeah. Because where I'm at, I really don't have electricity to keep the water tanks from freezing, yeah. so I have solar bubblers in my tank. Oh. Mm -hmm. when, when you're That's a great idea. the water around the creek or something like that, it's not always quiet. Yeah. Oh. But you are going to do things down there, right? I agree. And that's where we've got the running, noise. Got oh, noise the running water, water, running water will come in the creek, yeah. too. So. Yeah, and, and that's that's something that I think that uh, that we could actually think about. And, and Ralph, this is what it's about. Thank you. That's yeah. a great idea. So those are things that we could probably do um, in the future, but those are that's why this we're doing this. We never thought about that. Yeah. So we found out during this meeting today, we found out two new things, and hopefully on Sunday when people come out to do it, they'll they'll see it, they'll do the same thing. Yeah. So, okay. Let's let's measure. And you can shut those windows on and off. Yeah.